Hello Disc Golfers. This is Betty Basket here at Hidden Hollow in Dover, Pennsylvania. Um, this is a private 18 hole golf course on um, private land. So it doesn't offer all the amenities that you would have in a uh, regular golf course on um, or in a park. Uh, so there's uh, no none of the playgrounds and pavilions and all that stuff that would be here. Um, so this is just golf only. So let's get into it. Coming up the driveway, which is down that way, uh, you wind on up and you come up to this spot right here and you have a few parking spots. Um, next to the parking spots itself, you'll have little section where you can get scorecards or bug spray if you need it um, and then there's a lost disc and donation slot right here um, so the owner takes care of that call call the individual whose name's on the desk and make sure it gets to the right place now donations are not mandatory but I guarantee you, once you play this course um, you'll change your mind and want to offer something. Uh, I've played this course already. Uh, I absolutely love it. It is, again, 18 hole golf course. Three of the holes are out in the open a little bit, so you can kind of rip them a little bit, uh, but mainly everything else is in the woods. Uh, mainly technical shots, but it's still very beginner friendly and um, I guess the only thing we could do now is just get into it. So here we go.
right, folks, just finished up my round here at Hidden Hollow Disc Golf Course. Uh, what an amazing course. Um, again, this is a private course, and for someone to just take raw land and to say, hey, you know, I'm gonna put a disc golf course in, and to have it come out the way it has is absolutely amazing. Um, just the attention to detail to all the um, different kinds of players that could possibly come out and play this course. It's a little bit of everything for everyone. Um, I'm gonna add a bunch of pictures in while I'm talking here, but all the steps that were added in, and there's bridges over every single waterway. Um, there is, are um, OB lines that make each hole a little bit harder than what it really is, but because of the OB, it just adds that little extra oomph to it. It's, it's absolutely amazing uh, what has been done here. Uh, the owner and his volunteer help have done an amazing, outstanding job here. Um, I, I absolutely love it. All right, so all the um, holes right now are par three, which is fine by me. Um, there are some tricky shots that need to be done. Uh, if you can throw a forehand or some flex shots, they're not all hyzer shots, so it's not a complete beginner course, but still overall, a beginner can definitely play it and just kind of chip his way up and still get a pretty good score if he positions himself well. Um, long distance for these, there's a few that have some long distance, but uh, it's not really uh, a rip it and, or grip it and rip it type of course. Uh, again, there's a lot of uh, uh, trick, tricky shots that you need to be able to throw, but still, you can just throw them with a simple hyzer or straight shot and, and get to the basket no problem. Um, so that's nice. As far as hazards and bushes, well, obviously it's through the woods, so you're gonna have some. Um, some of the hazards are the OB lines. There is a creek running through the back there, and you know, you're gonna be OB if you go into the creek on most areas, actually all areas. Um, but you're not gonna lose your disc going into the water. Uh, there are some spots where you might get into some thicker weeds, but you're still always gonna find your stuff. If you do happen to go into some water, there is uh, usually a, uh, on some of the holes, there's a uh, long pipe with a hook on it, so you can grab your stuff if you can't reach it. So again, the, the owner uh, and designer of the course has thought of everything um, that needs to be taken care of. There is one other um, hazard that, or OB hazard, whatever, uh, that I want to discuss is on hole 17 um, there is a fenced area which is right down yonder um, you see the red barn and the fence around it do not enter that fenced area that is uh, private property that's not this property uh, it's a neighbor's property they have horses in the barn that get very skittish and it could come out and attack you and hurt you and it would not be good. So there is a sign hanging on uh, the fence that if your disc goes in there, please call the number. Um, someone will get it for you. Again, I repeat, do not go into the fenced area. There is also a um, pole with a hook on it. So hopefully you can reach it, but if you can't, too bad, your disc is there until someone can get it. But the number's there, um, yeah, it's, it's a little hassle because you can see the disc, it's right there, you wanna get it. But um, for safety purposes, just do not go in the fenced area. Um, it, 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 it would be nice if you didn't. Um, so that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, let's see, elevation change. There is some elevation change, um, but again, you'll notice when you're going through here, that with the attention to detail on everything else, there are steps being built. Um, there are ropes to hold on to uh, where the steps aren't there yet. Um, so there is a lot of um, detail to safety on this course. Uh, of course, 
through the fairway and actually on the hole itself, you can't really put steps to, to go up and down the elevation. So you just kind of have to play it, but it's still safe and, and walkable and it's not really that bad. So that's that. Um, signage, every single hole, every basket, there are arrows that will direct you to the next uh, tee pad. I did not use my app to play this course. I just wanted to see how easy it was to navigate and it's super simple. Um, as soon as you throw into the basket, you look down at the arrow, it says go right, you turn to the right, and bam, there's the next, um, next tee pad. So it's very simple to, to navigate through. And if the tee pad isn't right there, then um, you can see the already walked path that's already worn in and it, it's awesome. Um, and and the, the signage itself is accurate uh, from where the tee pad is to the basket. Because some of the courses I play, um, the, the basket on the actual sign where the tee pad is, it says it's, you throw to the left and you actually are supposed to throw to the right. But all of this is accurate. Now the baskets themselves, they're all, uh, well, they aren't all yellow, but there is at least a yellow band on all of them. There is also a red flag um, on the top of each of them, so you can see them very easily through the woods. The only one that is not yellow is hole one. It's a green basket, but it's got an orange flag, and uh, it's still easy to find. Now this course, even though it has its um, elevation and it's through the woods and it is uh, some trick shots here and there that you, you need to be able to throw, I still say this is definitely a family place because it's small enough. Um, and, and it's just fun. It's a fun little course. This course I actually just played and I didn't do all too well. I want to play it again. It, like it did not beat me up. I definitely want to play it again to um, better my score. So it, it's a course that you could play two, three times in a row and, and, and just, it's, it's fun to play. So you're not tired, you're not exhausted, you're not frustrated. You just wanna keep playing over and over to try to better your score. So that, that, that's a good thing to have uh, in a course to be able to just have that want and desire to play it again. So it, this, I can't say it enough, this is an awesome course. Um, that's really all I have. Uh, yeah, I don't think I missed anything. So if you come out here, um, Hidden Hollow, come out for uh, enough time to play this course a few times because you're, you're definitely gonna um, wanna keep playing it. If you are up in uh, the Pinchot State Park uh, playing those courses, come down here. Uh, if you're here and you wanna play this, go right up to Pincho. It's only 10 minutes away, uh, so you can do both in one day. Uh, there's two courses up in Pincho, so you can actually do three courses in one day. You're gonna be tired, uh, but they have camping up there also, so you can do this course, go up there, play that course, and then come back down and play this course, and then go home, either or. But you get to utilize three great courses in this little 10 minute area. Um, yeah, so again, this is a, a must come and play, must enjoy this course. Uh, the owner did an amazing job. If you really like it, please feel free to uh, get some donations. It would be helpful and thankful. Um, but that's all I have to say. And if you like this comment or like this video, please give me a like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more content and uh, you know bring this beginner stuff for everyone else out there and uh, That's really all I got so thanks for watching and I will see you soon